Hello and welcome to the next Green Stuff World Team tutorial. You may remember our spider diorama from last week. Well, let's just show you how we painted them so you can achieve a really cool comic style. We start preparing our spiders, separating them from the printing matrix with the help of our precision cutters which provide clean and safe cuts. We're going to work on the painting phase on top of black primer. Each chandelier will have a different colour scheme, although the painting process will be the same for all of them. On the lead spider, we'll make some characteristic marks on the abdomen with flaming orange, which will distinguish it from the rest of the companions. Now on the red layer, we'll mark the details using dry brush with grim dark orange. Apply the dry brush in a soft way, lightly marking the edges. Once the paint is dry, shadows and tones phase using goth skin dipping ink. Let this wash dry. And make the final highlights with butter yellow. For this specimen, we'll use white primer. And a first wash of dipping acid green. This helps to mark the volumes. We will then apply dry brush in white and let this dry. This spider will have a wash of azure blue on a white dry brush. By applying the dipping ink, the colour transitions and softens and it, with a great amount of contrast. We highlight the edges again with a dry brush in white. And apply a second wash of yellow submarine dipping ink which will give us a very vibrant yellow greenish tone. Next spider. Well this time add dipping ink in garnet purple. This is the first base. Mark with white. And apply a second tone with red opulence. For the larvae, we use the same techniques starting from a black matte primer. Then washes with dipping inks to get different tones, making sure to let everything dry in between coats. To get an organic look, there's nothing better than our ultraviolet resin. 
applied onto all the larvae. You'll get a shiny and very realistic finish. Well, you enjoy? Like, comment, and subscribe. See you again soon.